Okay. Welcome, Clarks. You've come to my lesson on the worst films ever made by Stanley Kubrick, which parallels in this universe with what happens to bullies, abusers in the future. I heard that Miss uh, Taylor Swift, or whatever her name is, has been copying Stanley Kubrick's style. Did it? Did it come with bracelets? Oh, she's gonna have two bracelets, handcuffs, and not the kinky kind. Or maybe she's into kinky stuff because she harms women and gets off on it. Is that a uh, id Freudism? A woman has to be superior and covertly throw herself out there and abuse another woman to death and get off on it. Well, that's what we watched for a whole three years. Welcome to the worst films ever made. I would know I've, I was around before Rotan Tomatoes and Rotan potatoes and Rotan potatoes, but um, unfortunately, a lot of my class is missing. Did they not make it? Where are you? Wow, Stanley here. What happens if you're an asshole? What happens in the future? The future? The fooder? I don't know, Taylor. What happens? Is it true you pay for what you get? Does your future family pay for what they get? And even if you don't? I have directed many films. We didn't have AI when we directed our films. We didn't have CGI. We built a lot of shit. And still was able to make better shit than what you guys have made this year. But why is that? Because there's a lot being said for doing less. There is also a lot being said in not being the narcissist that you are. Here you are, beings, ids of the world. Directors, celebrators, scholators. I would just like to say, And when has it ever been polite for a director to abuse someone if they don't like them? You know, uh, don't be angry if you're, you're dating your hand. At, at least, you know, your hand can reach your dick. If you're mean, like maybe I've been or other people have been, making fun of people with MS or ALS, or making fun of people with disabilities that can't reach or touch or have burning feet like Miss Taylor Swift did and others have, what do you think your future is going to look like? And for directors that think empowering women or people that are disadvantaged or gender queer people is by manipulating them and torturing them and bribing them to open doors. Whoa. I mean, I may be dead and made films 
that you may not relate to anymore, but even I know that the female heroine should be the one opening the doors for you assholes. Exchanges is an interesting term. So what, I'm sorry I got off topic, off topic. Maybe it's cause I'm so damn upset that I can't get to my dick cause I have no hands. But you know, if I fall and hit my head and have a brain bleed, I won't be able to touch anything or break my neck. People just don't care about that kind of stuff, do they, Taylor? So anyhow, what happens to bullies and abusers in the future? Can they feel the transient pain that they have caused? Does the future society that is more sensitive and more alert and acuity of what they've done and oppressed reject them historically? Might be fine and dandy in your lifetime you may be turned into something else in the future. What is always popular and cool, does that mean you just do it? We're all gonna harm a girl and make her go crazy because we all think it's a great idea. If you don't do it, you're not cool. We all think it's a good idea. Join the club. Join the club. I'm, you know. We're gonna try to make her jump off a bridge because, you know, if one person jumps off a bridge, you know, the other person should, and the other person, and the other person, and the other person, and the other person. Would those be lemmings or meerkats? I don't know. Anyhow, I'm gonna cut this short and sweet. There's no reason for you to be a bully or an abuser. Even if it's just a trait that you have or knew you could get away with because you were rich and spoiled. Taylor. Or other men that pretend to care about poor people that have helped you like Ryan Adams and Brad Pitt and Steven Spielberg that don't really care about poor people and disabled people if they would use you to hurt me. Oh, excuse me, Miss Stroke. What happens to bullies in the future and abusers? I don't know. Handcuffs, not the kinky kind. Do they get a taste of MS or ALS? Do they get a taste? what it's like to be shunned by their behaviors or their actions? Do they get a taste of knowing what it's like to make a horrible mistake that is life-changing and damning, not just for them, but for the person they did it to? I don't know anything, I'm just Stanley Cube Dick made some great pieces of art that didn't involve AI, CGI, or Dana's eyeball. Am I selfish for it? I don't know. Some people are. <laughs>